so you're ready to take out your first loan at btcpop.co. That's great to hear. This video was put together to make sure you're ready and to guide you through some of the key steps towards getting funded. The first step is to make sure you understand Bitcoin loans. BTC Pop consists mostly of Bitcoin loans, and lending in Bitcoin is a lot different than lending in standard fiat money you're used to. This is because fiat money is inflationary, which means it's not backed by anything, and the governments can print as much as they want. Bitcoin, on the other hand, is deflationary, so there will only ever be 21 million, which makes it increasingly scarce and more valuable over time. What this really means for you is that Bitcoin loans generally become harder to pay over time, whereas fiat loans tend to become easier to pay. So it's important to make sure your investment or loan remains profitable for you regardless if the Bitcoin price increases. So it's best to loan Bitcoin if your profits are in Bitcoin or if you fully understand the risk and can handle the volatility. It's also probably best to avoid Bitcoin loans for now if you don't fully understand the risk of Bitcoin and are not prepared to pay a really high interest rate. It's important to remember, Bitcoin is a young developing technology, so it's volatile now, but in the future it will become more stable. So if you're still good with taking out a Bitcoin loan, the next step is to head over to btcpop.co and sign up. Remember, dealing with cryptocurrency requires high security, so head on over to the security tab right away and set up two-factor authentication and other precautions. For more information, check out our post on our blog for setting up a secure account. Once you have created your account and looked around, the next step is to get verified. Verification is a necessary process which connects your identity to your BTC Pop profile. Verification consists of a few different tasks. First, we'll be entering and verifying your identity and address. This can be done with pictures of your government ID and the utility bill with your matching address. However, if you're in a high-risk country or your IP risk is high, you will be required to do address plus verification, which is a physical letter with a code mailed to you. This is in order to prevent spam loans from untrustworthy borrowers. The next step is to connect your cell phone. This is important as it can act as a backup device and be used for two-factor authentication. It also means collectors can give you a call should you choose not to pay. To make sure it's actually you, you'll be required to take a selfie of yourself holding up a specific code. This helps us match your face to your identity picture. Then, to make sure you're alive and kicking, BTC Pop also requires a short video be taken of you holding a different code and saying your name out loud. Following these steps, you're ready to take out a loan, but in order to get funded, it's highly recommended you verify all categories. This includes submitting recent pay stubs, as well as connecting social media accounts. BTC Pop currently verifies Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google Plus accounts. Make sure you read the directions during this process, as there are strict specifications for document submissions. The fourth step to taking out a Bitcoin loan is building reputation. BTC Pop is a reputation-based lending platform that is also community-driven. When you're asking for a loan, you are trying to convince the community to invest their hard-earned Bitcoin in you, and you are staking your reputation that you will pay back. One of the best ways to grow that reputation is to become part of the community yourself. Some good practices to building reputation are to set a profile picture so people recognize you, and invest alongside the community, even if it's a really small amount, to learn how the process works. Another very beneficial thing to do is to port some of your reputation over from other platforms by linking and documenting your ownership of that account. Some examples of high value sites to link your reputation to are BTC Jam, Bitcoin Lending Club, Local Bitcoins, and other reputation based sites like eBay. Now it's time to actually create your listing and take out a Bitcoin loan. At BTC Pop, there are multiple ways to borrow Bitcoin. I'll focus on standard loans but they are all worth looking into. Custom personal loans are the most popular and probably what a beginner would use. I'll share some tips to get funded with the number one tip being collateral is king at BTC Pop. Collateral is peer-to-peer -peer shares or altcoins that are locked away until the loan is repaid. Peer-to-peer -peer lending is quite risky, so you'll find that lenders want collateral to back up investments until solid reputations are built, much like fiat banks. 100% collateral or more is recommended for your first or early loans. Otherwise, start small. 
Like really small. Like 0.01 Bitcoin small. You won't get funded, and you'll likely get discouraged if you start too high. Some other solid advice is to write out a good, well thought out description, and promptly answer questions from the community and acknowledge their advice. If you don't get funded the first time, don't worry. You just need to sweeten the deal a little. You can do this by asking for a smaller amount, adding collateral, or just listening to any other advice offered. Once funded, the most important step comes, paying back your loan. Late payments hurt your reputation a lot, so make sure and pay attention to the date and time zone of the due date. And have your coins ready ahead of time. Investors don't like excuses and you will be charged late fees. Most importantly though, is to just make your payment and not end up being collected on. You don't want to go down that route. If you do find yourself in trouble, make sure you communicate with your investors and make as big a partial payment as you can. If you have more questions, visit BTC Pop's blog at blog.btcpop.co. And happy borrowing to you all.